Now what we're gonna build is this little bit of text down here in the bottom uh, that just basically just expresses what the conversion rate was or is and gives the date that it was actually converted. Uh, typically what I like to do in an application is set up a few components that represent the different styles of text within my application. So for example, kind of how we've got h1, h2, h3, a p tag, an a tag, all of that on the web. I kind of like to set up my own within the application just so I can import those different text elements and I've got the styles necessary. This case it's going to be a little bit different but we'll set it up in a similar way um, just because I want to handle all of this conversion displaying inside of the actual component rather than doing it in the uh, screen just so I can keep the screen a little bit more clean and just pass a few props to it and it'll take care of all the formatting for me. And to do that, the first thing I want to do, just so we have these available to us and so I don't uh, forget, is set up a few of these temp variables that we're using up here. The first one's going to be temp conversion rate, and this is going to be equal to, uh, let's just say 07974, which will align with what we've got up there. We've also got temp conversion date, and we're just going to set that to a new date, uh, whatever the current date is. Now we want to go ahead and actually create a new component for our stylized text and because you could have a bunch of different stylized texts in your application, we'll create a new directory called text, again index.js, styles.js, and then this one's going to be lastconverted.js. And then I'll set up my imports, so last converted from last converted uh, don't need the JS there and then we'll also import styles from styles and export last converted styles let's also set up the boilerplate for the style so in my styles.js we can go ahead and then import the react native extended style sheet uh, we will set up our basic styles and then just go ahead and export default that um, now we can go ahead and actually set up this last converted. First thing we're going to import React. And then since this is just a text component, it's the only thing it's going to return, just some stylized text. All we need to uh, actually import is the text component. We're also going to import our uh, moment module. So import moment from moment. And that'll allow us to actually display the text nicely. And finally, we'll import our styles. So then I'm going to say const last converted is equal to a new component and we can use that implicit return so we'll just use the parentheses and then export default last converted so if we go to oh, first we'll specify our prop types and I'll set this up and then we also want to make sure we actually import prop types up here and then if we look at our mockups what we're going to be passing to it is the actual conversion rate we're going to be passing to it the base currency, so the USD. We also want to pass the quote currency and then finally the date. So thinking about that, first we will set up date and that's going to be prop types dot object because a date object is an object um, date. Then we're also going to have base and that's going to be prop types dot string and so is quote. This will represent the quote currency. It'll be string and then finally the conversion rate and that's going to be a number so now we can go ahead and actually start returning things uh, first off we're going to have our text and then we know we have access to base quote conversion rate and then finally date and what we'll do here is say one base, so one USD, is equal to conversion rate, which is going to be that conversion rate we pass to it. And then we also want to pass in quote, which will be pound in this case, or GBP. And then we can say as of, and then this is where we're going to start using moment. So in moment, we'll pass date for the function, and then we can actually specify how we want to go ahead and actually format that. And that's just done via string. And we want the full month to be displayed, which is four capital M's. Then we want the day and then finally the full year. And you can actually put in um, 
commas and different types of way of actually breaking up the date. So that should all be good to go. Let's actually render this so we can see what it looks like. So going to our home.js file, which is in our screens directory, we'll go ahead and import last converted from components text. We'll scroll down and that's going to actually appear above our clear button. So I'll pass that in here. And then we can say the base is going to be temp base currency. The quote is going to be the temp base, or sorry, the temp quote currency. The date's going to equal to equal the temp conversion date, and then the actual conversion rate is going to equal temp conversion rate. Save that, and we should actually see it render. And you can see that we are seeing one USD is equal to 07974 pound as of May 16, 2017, uh, which is similar to this. We just need to actually go ahead and style that now. And this will be pretty straightforward. So if we go back to our last converted, we just wanna make sure we actually apply a style to this. So we'll say styles.smalltext. And then going into our styles.js for our text component, we'll actually jump in here and say small text. First thing we know is the font color is going to be that white variable we're using elsewhere in the application. The font size, we're going to set to 12. And then finally, just to ensure that the text is aligned in the center, we'll say text align center. And we've saved the styles, but we failed to save the last converted.js, so I'll save that. And then you can see that we've got this small text down here that specifies the base currency, the quote currency, the conversion rate, and the date that it was actually last converted on.